my original reason for coming to Bali this time was to kind of escape from the COVID <laughs> in the US. Um, I'd been quarantining in LA and I heard there was a possibility to get into Bali and took the opportunity to come here so I could surf, you know, like just like a lot of people, yoga, spiritual, wellness, um, continue to work on music. I didn't plan to be staying for probably will turn out to be close to a year, but it's just proven to be such a beautiful place to be during this time. I think during any time that I don't want to leave anytime soon. I think being in Bali just giving me the opportunity to be in nature and to really slow down, um, focus on my health and wellness. Usually traveling as a DJ, you're on an airplane two, three, four times a week sometimes and you don't really think about um, wellness as much. Time is going so fast and you know when you have downtime, for me at least, I really do try to balance a hectic schedule with focusing on health and wellness and spirituality. But here it's kind of been all about that, which has been a nice change of pace. And I realize I kind of don't ever want to go back to that craziness. Um, it was a lot at one time and I'm really happy to be able to be here and really um, getting grounded and centered. I think this past year has been really challenging and tough for many people, um, especially those who are out of work or alone um, in maybe cities where there's no nature, there's no places you can get out and take a walk. Um, I cope with a lot of this by being in nature. I love to surf. Um, I like to just, you know, when I was in LA, go on hikes. I love, um, you know, to dance and move. Um, whether it's through yoga or, you know, dancing on the dance floor, um, as well as, you know, DJing and making music. I haven't done as like many streams because I really connect more to energy of a crowd live. But I think as like time goes on, you know, adapting and connecting with people whatever way we can, whether it's through the internet or, you know, virtual world, or hopefully again soon in person, just staying connected. Um, I think my most unique wellness hack is dancing. Whenever I'm in a really bad mood or not feeling so great, low energy, I kind of just put on some of my favorite music and start, start grooving. Um, as a DJ traveling around, uh, I first started thinking mostly about the carbon footprint of airplane travel. Um, then I started seeing, you know, all the waste from festivals and I think as artists it's our responsibility like in those two areas first and foremost alone to try to do something to offset that whether it's planting trees or, you know, um, talking to different companies about plastic free um, parties, no plastic on the riders. Here in Bali, there's a lot of efforts um, for getting rid of plastic bags, um, starting zero waste bulk stores where you can go with glass containers and refill instead of getting plastic all the time. There's Sungai Watch, which is focused on cleaning the rivers to hopefully stop the rivers from spreading trash into the oceans. And I think the people here um, are doing a really good job initiative with that. There's 30 different um, barriers cleaning rivers here right now, and they're collecting all of the different plastics and collecting the data of what different types of plastics. Lots of it is plastic bags. Um, daily, they're you know recording the, the biggest problems and then they can take it to the government. And I'm really fascinated by this because I think it needs to start with the governments. We can all do our part. I think it's really important for all of us to look in our trash bin, how much trash are we are accumulating, what can we reduce, what can we reuse, instead of just thinking, oh, we're throwing this away. Nothing's getting thrown away. There is no away. So we need to really think about how we can conserve what we're using um, so there's not so much waste. Um, I think some of the things the people in the music industry can do to help is have a plastic-free rider, um, you know, set an example 
whether it's through social media or just when you're in public eye, you know, say like, I don't won't use plastic, I won't take a straw, I'm recycling, I'm buying from this bulk store, or like, this shoe is made from tires, it's made from something that is, has been reused, or have an art project that you use recyclable things and create a sculpture and kind of lead by example. Also, as far as airplane travel, I think, um, you know, obviously planting trees helps offset a bit, but if you can s travel smarter and not just, oh, one day in Dubai, one day in LA, one day here, South America, and really, pick and choose the way we tour um, to make it the most, um, I guess, worthwhile and the most um, easy on the environment as possible and not just do it without any thought or concern. Um, first, I never take plastic bags. I always use reusable bags. If for some reason I don't have the reusable bag, I'll like juggle all my items in my arms. Uh, I try to buy glass as much as possible or paper. Um, I recycle. I, I do, I'm aware of what's in my bin and I see what it accumulates and I try to avoid that. Um, I really pay attention to the brands that I'm buying now. When it's clothing, I try not to do fast fashion. I either buy vintage, which is like reu reused, or I go to brands that are using like sustainable uh, fabrics, or like I said before, um, Indosol is super cool. They have, they use tires and old sandals to make new sandals. So since I've been here in Bali, I've been wearing them constantly. Um, yeah, whenever it comes to that type of thing, I'm more aware of it now than I think I've ever have been, and I hope I can spread the word to other people too. I think the number one way I'm a conscious person is just the awareness of this planet is our spaceship. <laughs> and it's not this place where, you know, we're entitled to just do what we want and leave it behind the way, you know, worse than when we found it. It's us, up to us, like you should treat it like our home, like our actual house, our bedroom, our kitchen, how you want to keep your space. Think of the whole globe like that. And, you know, do you want trash all over your kitchen? Do you want to be cooking with like piles of gross, you know, plastics everywhere that are not gonna, you know, go anywhere for many, many years. They're just gonna accumulate over time. No, I don't think anybody wants to live in an environment like that. So I think just keeping it close to home and realizing this is up to us. Um, and a fact that I recently learned is that if we don't do something about the plastics, there's gonna be more plastic than fish in the seas by 2050, which is so alarming. So just having that fact in my head, um, really makes me aware of what is going on and how serious and urgent it is. I would describe the relationship between music and the planet as one of unity. It's a common thread that brings everybody together from all walks of life, all ages, all ethnicities, all languages. It doesn't require words. Um, it really brings people together. And if we can do that as musicians, as DJs, as artists, to bring everyone together, it is a way that we can get everyone on the same page and working together to help leave this planet better than we found it, hopefully. Um, when talking about sustainability, what inspires me is innovation and new ideas, especially when you hear that younger generation that's so passionate um, it's up to us to not let them down. And I think having that responsibility is inspiring. It's also daunting because we've kind of dug ourselves into a big hole, but I have faith and I really hope that we can all band together to make it better. My role of shaping the future of the planet is to be a stand-up global citizen and not just have a tunnel vision of what my daily life is or what I might see day to day, realize what's happening um, to different people all over the world and how we can help as a global community. And as a DJ that has, you know, um, a platform to be a good example, I think it's a responsibility that we all have to step up and do that. 
I have no plastic on my rider. Um, thanks to the initiative started by Blondish a couple years ago, I was made aware um, that this is a possibility for all of the DJs and artists to stand together. And at first, it was kind of difficult to get the clubs to listen or the festivals. They would kind of just, you know, they'd give you the red plastic cups or, you know, they would not quite pay attention and then over the last couple years after so many times saying no like this is plastic I don't want this um, and I know a lot of the other artists have too you see the change and now everyone is on board with it I can't remember the last time that I showed up and there was plastic there so it's really nice to see that change and the progression of people being on board with that